All right, so today um, we're not expecting anybody to be cooking with us because I did not actually send out any um, ingredient list because we were not even sure we were going to cook today until about an hour ago. But anyway, we decided we're going to cook something for dinner anyway. Let's just go ahead and do this um, and show you how we're going to make this garlic salmon with some capers. The thing is, um, it's the first time we're making it this way, okay? <laughs> so you will see us um, try to figure out how we're gonna do this differently because again, the original recipe for this calls for baking it with the uh, traditional big oven. But we're not gonna do that today. As always, we're going to use our Salad Master Skillet and it's going to be a one-step thing here. No use of the traditional oven, okay? We'll use our electric skillet is what we're gonna do. Okay. Cool. So I hope you guys are having a great time. Um, I know a lot of people have gone to church or um, have gone to Easter egg hunts. <laughs> it was fun looking at all those photos um, on Facebook and Instagram. Um, we have yet to do that, but um, getting there. Um, part of our family is getting vaccinated. <laughs> he is, I'm not. But anyway, so here's the first step. Honey, what do we have? So we only have two salmon fillets. The original recipe calls for four, but we're actually pretty full. We had a big lunch for Easter. Uh, that was great. That was really nice, courtesy of my honey. But um, so this is half of what the recipe called for, okay? So skinless um, salmon fillet is what we have. I prefer it that way. And what we're doing is, we're preheating. I've been preheating our electric skillet to 350 degrees. Now, if you are doing this the traditional way, you're going to have to preheat your big oven to 350 and you're gonna need a baking dish ready, okay? But even before you move everything to a baking dish, you're gonna need a separate skillet to kind of like saute and brown your garlic, okay, on your stove top. So, Two steps versus just one. We'll do everything here. Okay, cool. so let me run through the ingredients. Obviously we have our salt and pepper for our usual seasoning. We got capers here, um, a tablespoonful of capers. We got a lemon. Actually um, a tablespoon and a half. And then we have here our uh, minced garlic, which I minced just a minute ago. I've got some minced dill, fresh dill and minced parsley, okay? I actually thought we we're gonna cut it um, fresh later. We just started chopping it all up. But anyway, so at 350 degrees, as always, how do we know this is ready? We kind of like just, oops, not yet, huh, honey? It's not running like beets. Can you see that? Not yet. It's getting stuck in the pan. So what I'm gonna do is cover it some more again. My husband told me not to reach because your sleeves. There you go. I'm running out of time. But anyway, so I just brought up my temperature to 400 so I can speed up the preheating. Okay. So, anyway, so the very first thing we're going to do, just so you know, this is actually a tablespoonful and a half of capers. You can be okay with just one tablespoonful, but I personally love capers. <laughs> Every time I go to a restaurant and I get a dish with capers, I always ask for extra on the side, right? There's this place that we love. I do that all the time. When they see my face, they like extra capers, okay? And then uh, what you normally need is uh, four tablespoonfuls of um, butter if you had four fillets. So it's easy to remember. For each fillet, a tablespoonful of butter. That's the ratio, one is to one. But because we only have two, we're going to use how many, honey? Two as well. But instead of doing the full blown two tablespoonfuls of butter, I'm going to do half it, um, half, one tablespoonful of butter and the other will be a tablespoonful of olive oil. If you don't know us yet, especially me, every time a recipe calls for butter, I always try to half it um, and I substitute the other half with olive oil, all right? It's my way of trying to make it a little bit healthier, okay? I try to cut down on, I'll try to add um, better kinds of fat every time, which is in our olive oil. So maybe this is done. You wanna see? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I know, but I'm trying. You can't help that. Very good. Here we go. Yeah, so when you so see the water ready. running as beads, then that means it's preheated. Uh, because it's at 400, I'm going to bring it down to 350 because, like I said earlier, we are going to brown our garlic. And you don't want your garlic to brown like really fast because this is going to be our garlic and capers together is what we're going to do, okay? So like I said, a tablespoonful of butter. I'm trying to there. One eighth of this is a tablespoonful. There it goes. And then a tablespoonful of this one, honey, please. Let me cover this so my sleeves don't bother you. There. And as soon as that bubbles like a lot, you see it's bubbling, it's bubbling. So if you don't also know, um, this is one great trick of making sure that your butter does not burn because you know butter burns really fast right so you see how bubbly that is as soon as that's bubbly your butter is bubbly you add your garlic so we actually have um about a tablespoon full of garlic yes there you go half of the original as always you can add as much garlic as you want <laughs> So I'm not gonna reach again. And then the capers, okay? Can you see this? We're going to cook the garlic and the capers all together for about 20 seconds, 25. We'll just brown the garlic a little bit, okay? Smells really good. I'm so excited for our dinner. And while I'm doing this, honey, can you please, we're going to salt and add pepper to our salmon fillets while I'm browning this, okay? But go easy on your salt because your capers are a little bit salty in itself, right? Yeah. And I did use salted butter I'd probably as well. just use a pinch for each uh, yes. fillet. So we'll go easy on that one. There you go. As soon as that's done, we are going to brown and cook our salmon here. So, all in one pan. In the traditional manner, after doing this in your skillet over the stove top, what you're gonna have to do is um, get your baking dish, lay down your salmon, and pour in this thing, your butter, um, garlic, and capers in the, in the baking dish, and then you will have to bake it in your oven at 350 for about 20 minutes, all right? That's the difference. And normally you would have to somehow um, add like um, like a, um, you can do like a, what do you call the paper? But parchment paper. Don't use aluminum foil, okay? We try to illuminate that. Here you go, honey. Can you please lay it down? So the temperature is still at 350 if you guys want to do this at home. And we're laying down our salmon. If you notice, I'm just pushing this on the side as we lay down our salmon. Go ahead. And then we need a little bit of there. And what am I going to do? Your honey, you want to do this? Like put it on one side and then keep putting the there. Okay. Can you do that, please? Sure. We want to make sure we add the flavor of the garlic and the capers to our salmon. Smells so good. See? And um, you can tilt your pan if you want, or your baking dish, so you can like add a lot more of that um, butter or butter olive oil combination in your pan, okay, on top. So it's not just your capers and your garlic. Try to get a lot of that juice. Okay. Um, for fish though, typically your butter will have to seep into the, the meat of the fish. So, um, this is just more an extra step, but um, you should you should be fine and you should be able to taste your butter with the fish because that's just how fish works. All right. So at 350, after putting that on there in your baking dish, we are going to then cover. Ta-da! At 350 degrees. So Marvi, this is going to be so fast, you all. How long at 350 degrees? Well. 
if you're a solid master owner, this is what's going to happen. We're going to wait um, for this to click, but from beginning to the end of that, it's going to be like 15 minutes. I'm going to time this. But something different that we're going to do is, honey, when it starts clicking, this bulb, I'm going to open it real quick and turn it to the other side is what I'm going to try to do because I want the top to be brown, okay? Okay. Ooh. So see, now we're baking it. In the traditional oven, 15 minutes. You'll be waiting to bake that at 350 for 15 minutes. And then as soon as it's done, <laughs> it is so easy. We plate it and then we add our garnishing. So the three types of herbs that are good for this one are what, honey? Um, that you can all use or pick one. So we can do dill, we could do parsley, and it can be any kind of parsley. Or rosemary. Or you could do rosemary as well. Mm -hmm. Today we're using uh, Italian parsley and some fresh dill. Dill, okay. So you're probably asking, hey, Marvie, can I use um, the dried ones? Because it's not, I don't have the fresh ones. Well, honestly, you may, it's not the same. If you're using dried ones, here's what I'm gonna tell you. What you can probably do is add it to your um, capers and garlic right before you add your salmon because you want it to soak a little bit and get hydrated, okay? You want the flavor because the flavor, a lot of times of dry, unless it gets soaked in something liquidy, it's not as good as the fresh, see? Even though it's supposed to be a little bit more concentrated, that's from my experience. So what I normally do is if it's dry, I literally add it to the butter or oil, whatever liquid I have with whatever it is that I'm cooking, okay? I don't just add it in the end because then it stays dry. I don't like it that way, all right? Is there any question? Do we have people? Oh, we don't even know if we have people <laughs> with us today. Like I said, it will be nice. Um, let us know if you do this in your own time on replay. And if you do, please um, send us photos. Every time we will request for you to always send us photos and let us know, please, how you like it. Okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, as expected, we know that people are probably having their family dinners their family right now. Family dinners, yes. Um, grandparents spending time with their grandkids. And, yes. you know, it's Easter, so we understand. But hopefully, uh, when you guys want to, like, you know. Yeah. Make up for such a heavy meal today. Um, you can always prepare this dish in the middle of the week. We hope you can watch this and replay. Uh, again, today we're making... Um, garlic salmon with capers. Garlic salmon with capers. Yeah. Right. So capers because I love capers. So did you hear that clicking sound? So now, what did I say? We are going to flip this to the other side because I want the top to be brown, all right? Hi, Heather, Regan. Hi, ta-da, do you see how pretty? Happy Yum. Easter. We Is still have like 30 minute? minutes, yeah. We still have like 30 minutes on the, on the claw. Okay. And when I put back the cover, you will see how differently I'm gonna do it, okay? I'm not gonna cover it completely again. What I'm gonna do, is we're going to put the lid back on, but it will be open, about an inch open. It will be cracked open for the next 12 minutes. Okay. Cool? Yeah, I'm going to Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to put back the capers and the garlic on top but so that the garlic doesn't overcook. That's my the thing with this. Mm -hmm. uh, once that's cooking, you need to also like manage your garlic, obviously, or any other condiment that you don't want to be burnt. Awesome. There you go. Oops. All right. You want to spread it out a little bit, honey? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. There you go. So open about an inch. So we have just about 11 more minutes left. So this is so easy. It's so fast. What are we going to eat this with? Um, some sauteed vegetables. And I will most likely reach for my rice. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this with a little bit of rice. 
He's probably going to have it with some cauliflower rice. He's been eating cauliflower rice is what he's doing. Anyway. Yep. So how's everybody doing? Uh, what was different about this year's Easter? So we had uh, our family brunch earlier at this uh, uh, is it a neighborhood French, restaurant. It's a French, yeah, it's a French, it's a French bistro. bistro. Mm -hmm. uh, it is. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, That's in our neighborhood. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. nice to see families. Obviously, uh, the restaurant had a lot of families with uh, the kids were actually more like our kids' age. They were also like in their preteen, teenage years. So it was nice to say to see nice uh, same age families have have brunch together. It wasn't as crowded though. We were like lucky to find it a not crowded place. Yeah. But anyway, so while we're waiting on this, we still have like about 10 minutes on the clock. We want to announce April. This is the only thing we're doing in April that's not pasta related. Okay. So in March, um, if you don't know, we actually focused on one dish rice meals. Okay. So we're a big fan of those things where you, you don't need like two, three separate viands. We don't do a starter. We don't do like big dinners like that. We love one dish meal. So March, we did a lot of rice, correct? We did um, garlic, no, no, we did Asian rice. We did um, Thai fried we rice. Chinese fried we rice, did, Thai um, fried rice, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we did a Mediterranean. Did you do a Mediterranean? Yeah, we did a Mediterranean I did, rice. we did a Mediterranean rice. I don't even remember. But this month, and then general, what are we making? And what we're gonna to try to show you is how we make several versions of our pasta. So from rice, we're gonna to go to pasta. We kind of started it last week, right? Yeah, we did that more so last week, mm -hmm. yeah. But um, if you're wondering, we do we do like greens, okay? But then uh, greens are so easy to prepare, especially if you have one of the salad master skillets. We just do it open faced in our stove top. And we do like fresh salads as well. So one of these days, uh, Atali, you can request that to us. If you just want to know how to learn some spring or summer salads, Marvi can definitely do a quick five-minute presentation for you. All right, we're going to do that. And then, um, so next week, the very first thing I want to show you is um, this seafood pasta I like making with white, with white wine with white wine. Cool. <laughs> so we're going to do um, seafood pasta with clear sauce on Sunday, this coming next Sunday on the 11th. And then on the 18th, we're going to have a very special guest. We have a uh, consultant in Maryland who's going to show us how she does her meatball spaghetti. One step. So all these pasta dishes that we're going to show you, what's going to be different about it is, of course, we have, um, these are your traditional recipes with our personal twists that we want to share with you. But everything is going to be simplified as always. Seven ingredients or less. That's what we always try to do if you don't know yet. And then the other thing is here. You will be surprised with all these pasta dishes that we're going to make. We will not boil the pasta separately at all, right? So it's going to be literally like a dumping thing of pasta and you have to see that, okay? Uh, as always, whether you're a salad master owner or not, you're welcome to come. The only thing is here, um, um, here's the caveat or sort of, the salad master owner, non-salad master owners, you're gonna have to boil your pasta most likely. You won't be able to do it like we do, but it's okay because I'll let you know every step of the way how you are going to do it traditionally, okay? So we hope you guys can come join us um, starting this coming Sunday for our pasta month, all right? And what else is new that we're doing, honey? Do you remember? So uh, one of the other things you we were playing around with was in the past, we used to make this an hour-long show Yes. where we do... Um, you know, a savory dish along with a sweet dish. But what we notice is some people prefer to just learn their savory dish really quick within 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. But then we've been getting some feedback that some people also want to learn how to make easy desserts. Yeah. So we're going to still continue to show the desserts, but it will be a different 30 minute format. 
Yes. So uh, that's something that's new that we'll be starting to do, that we will start doing this April. Right. So I'm not sure yet if I'll be able to kick that off next Sunday, but definitely we're kicking that off this April. And um, we're going to try to do it again very differently. Like, you know what I'm going to try to do? <laughs> we'll do two desserts, okay? In the kickoff um, segment of our dessert, um, dessert recipe segment. And what I'll try to show you are two desserts using only two ingredients each. Does that cool? Does that sound cool? So what you can do is you can choose either of the two to make with me, or you can choose to do both. But because they're going to be simple, simple, two ingredients for each of them, I'll do two, okay, for our kickoff segment. That will be so much fun. So it's going to be, be a like dessert overload. Sugar and flour, are those your two ingredients? No, it'll be fun. Um, it will be exciting, but I want to mention these recipes are not my own. I am going to tell you where I'm getting them from when I do the class, but they're amazing. And then to top all that, when we make these desserts with our salad master, they're so much faster. So watch out for that. Um, it may be on the 25th, uh, most likely, I feel like. It will be on the last Sunday of April, but who knows? Um, I might just say, let's start it this weekend. <laughs> if so I have the energy. I do see, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, okay? Dirtu. Hi. Dirtu is watching with us, so hi. So and, we only uh, have four minutes left on the clock. Tina is watching us as well. So hi, Tina. Tina Ames? No, it's uh, Tina Balioyo. Tina, hi. Thank you for dropping by. So we only have three more minutes on the clock left. What are we going to do here, honey? Can you please then add R on top? Here's what we're going to do. Just um, drop in your chopped fresh fresh herbs on top, okay? And then we're gonna squeeze actually on the pan a bit of our lemon, okay? How much? We're not gonna measure this. We'll just on squeeze the pan or on, the, on the top of the fish. Okay. There you go. Yay, did you see how big that is? It's probably just like half of a teaspoon. And we're going to cover it completely for the last three minutes. This because this is on timer. When the timer is done, it will shut off automatically by itself. And then that's it. We're good, we're done. You wanna see how it turns out? I think I'm gonna, um, oops, sorry. I'm gonna grab one of our, I'm gonna have one of our kids come and taste this. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat. I normally order this um, from our favorite restaurant. It's called, um, it's one of the few restaurants where we still really like to eat because we've become very picky since we started cooking with Salad Master. So this is my favorite thing to order, right? I or I order yeah. this all the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I know that if you're using a traditional oven, what you could also do is use a cedar plank, you know, and bake your salmon on top of a cedar plank. But, uh, you know, if you're using a Salad Master, obviously what you could also do is just... Uh, Present it One really minute. well afterwards. <laughs> yes. So we're almost done. Yay! I'm so excited to eat. So um, one other thing that I want to announce, I've been announcing this, and you're probably some of you are probably Marvy. You've said it many times, and it still hasn't happened. <laughs> well, it's really, really going to happen now. Okay. In May, uh, uh, on the second Sunday of May. We are going to um, introduce you to our website that's going to go live a few days prior to that Sunday, okay? And um, we are going to try to make that day. What, what is the date of the second Sunday of May, honey? But anyway, the second Sunday of May, if you join us, especially if you cook with us, you'll be in for a big surprise, okay? I am, a, <laughs> if you guys come and join us and if you've done this in the past, you know that I like all of a sudden giving away items, right? I like doing that. It will be a surprise. I probably will never tell you what it is. 
You're just gonna have to come. It will be May eighth. It will be the May eighth. Okay. May 8th. Um. Yeah, because the Tuesday before then, no, then, the eighth, the seventh is when we um. All right. This is a Sunday. No. Oh, so May ninth. Yeah, May ninth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. What's I gonna say? Go. So I know you've, we've said the website for several months now. You know. I really applaud the younger generation if they are able to come up with these websites really fast. It's kind of hard because you actually have to think. And um, our customer base in Salad Master is like an entire generation. So we got some really young people, but we also got some grandpas and grandmas. So we have to make sure that it uh, caters to the needs of It's the every content. It's yeah. the content. What we put it, I mean, just the the skeleton of a website is easy, but deciding on what what's what goes in there content wise, because we want to be able to provide you guys with content that is not necessarily um, available right now. Otherwise, why do it, right? <laughs> so here we go, everyone. Ta-da! You want to show it to them a little bit closer, honey? That was incredibly fast, including prep time. That was only like less than 30 minutes. There you go. You see that? Okay, Um, who wants to try this? Mikael, you want to come try this, big guy? Mikael, come here, big guy. Because you are more particular about salmon. Oh man, I'm so excited to eat. Ta da! Mick okay. Mick calling on my kuya, Mick Mick. I want you to try our salmon, please. And tell us the truth, my love. Try the capers, because the capers is what makes it so flavorful. Here. <laughs> You're on the spot, but you can tell the truth. It's hot. Is it good? Probably um, not. <laughs> He's picky when it comes to fish. Is it flavorful? Do you like it? One to five, for real. I'll give it a four. Okay, perfect. See, my mission is to get it to be a five for him. Thank you, my love. So there you go, everybody. It's not. It has not been 30 minutes even. Now this portion, you see this? <laughs> the drippings of the salmon and the butter and everything. I am going to throw in a bit of rice in there and I'm gonna get that flavor. And that's what I'm gonna eat with my salmon. See? <laughs> I'm so excited to eat. Anyway, so there you go, everyone. Your very simple garlic salmon with capers, which I love. I hope you make it. Send us some photos and um, let us know how you like it, okay? Okay, so thank you very much and happy Easter, everybody. Yes. Enjoy. We'll see you on Sunday, all right? For seafood um, pasta with clear sauce.